Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and thank you Elena for the beautiful intro, it was excellent. Now um, tonight's video is going to be a video showing how I modified two of my filters here that I use in the fish room at the Wonder of Cichlids. So without further ado, I'm going to go through a quick video I've recorded earlier on how I modified it. If you have any questions guys, feel free to contact me, email, text me, all my information is out there, all the links showing uh, what I use for the filters and where I got them is in the bio so please check it out and once again guys stay safe out there and happy fish keeping so here's one of the pumps we use my own version of a power filter And here we've got the little jet filter and this is with air so both of these filters are double stacks extra large sponges all right guys I'm going to show you now I'll give a run through the two filters I just showed you so this is the PVC one that was in the 125s so as you can see I just took it off the top of the filter it was basically resting on the top like this as you saw on the thing on the double stack you know so here's my first tip the end here you gotta sand it down because it's got to fit in here but well, once sanded it fits nice and snug you know this piece if you have a 55 a 75 a 125 cut this piece to 5 inches if you cut this piece to 5 inches it'll just break the surface and when the air is coming out and the bubbles are hitting the water you get ample uh, surface uh, agitation so um, that is um this is what I recommend for this piece, five inches. You got your 90, oh, a hole for your tubing. And then you got a reducing brushing, or some people might say a reducing coupling. I do that to reduce it to half inch. It gives it that bit more power, and uh, it's good for water direction, you know what I mean? So I like doing it, it works good for me. So it's something you can do. So remember, five inches for this piece and you'll get you'll get out you'll get it right up to the surface it'll just break the surface and sand here and i use one of those round stone sanders and uh, it gets it done in 15 seconds man and nice and snug perfect you know so that's fairly easy man doing these like you know and just double stack and put the tubing down i like to put the tubing down halfway to the second sponge so we'd say about here I'd have the tubing come down here, you know. You can put an air stone on it if you want. I don't use air stones anymore. They clog too fast in hard water. So I just have the tubing go down to about here. So that way then it's using uh, both sponges, you know. So that's the PVC. Now, so, and I just want to show you. These are the sponges I use. It's the Aquarium Solutions, back to Surge. Um, I mean it's a uh, 5.75 inches by 6.25 inches and it says up to 125 gallons you all know we ain't using one of these sponges for uh, 125 gallons you know I've got four of them going and six of them going in some tanks as you see in yourself you know so that's the that's the filter and this is the power head so this power head I got from top dog sellers I think I mean it's cheap it's only about 14 15 dollars but there's some great flow out of it you know and um, I got that I think it was Amazon I'm not sure but yeah I, I'll put the link in the bio I'll put links for both of them in the bio so you can see them okay so with this you get a lot of other stuff like strainers suction cups and all that you don't need any of that keep it put it away you know what I mean 
No. What else do I have? All right, so here, here's the power head. Now, as you've seen from the video, we need to get the power head, oh, excuse me, onto the top of this. So, we're going to need this plastic. Now, this is by the motor, because it softens the end of it, and you need to get it on snug. So it softens the end, so you can get the plastic on here, if you, you know. So this is a piece I just cut, and it fits nice and tight. So if you can see that, so this is going to go on the filter. So this fits in here beautifully. So as you can see, and do with your directional, keep that. You know, it can go wherever you want. So that's going to go on here. That back then we have the base of the new one take off the other top you're going to have extra parts you know but I always say if I have an extra box for all the extra parts you know and it works out good so I mean this is fast man this this works nice and quick you know So this is one of these sponges as well because I took it out of a tank. But, um, so as you can see, you just line up if you want it to look good. Just line up the lines and stuff like that, you know. So, sorry, you know, I'm trying to get this into the camera for a shot. But, so as you can see, that's your uh, full power filter. I'll get this one going in a second so you can see it in action, okay? So I hope that helps. But I mean, before you put it in, you know, you can just straighten up all these lines. You know, straighten up all these to make it look pretty if you're worried about, like, how it looks. Which I do. I nearly have a level and a rule out here trying to get them perfect. But that's just me. But I'm going to set this up in two seconds, put it in its new tank, and I'll be back, okay? So here it's up and running. So the directional is aimed up to the top to break the water, plenty of uh, surface agitation there, and it'll circulate if you have a tank that has a lot of rock, like this one, it works nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you got something out of it, I mean you don't have to use the exact filters I use, you know, but uh, it gives you the general idea, you know. Anyway guys, take care, and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, message me, I'd be happy to help. Stay safe out there guys, be good, thank you, happy fish keeping.